What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing that I get to do about every six or seven years or so. We've got a brand new console. This is Nintendo's latest and greatest Wii U. Ready to be opened, played with, and manhandled. This is the basic set. It also comes with a deluxe version. I'll run through all those differences. Let's go ahead and see what Nintendo's console looks like now that it's finally in HD. Let's go ahead and dig in. All right, so here is the Wii U basic set. This guy's gonna set you back 299 bucks. If you wanna go for the deluxe version, you can tack on another 50. Um, that's going to get you bumped from eight to 32 gigs. Gonna get you a stand for the console and the control pad. And it's going to get you Nintendo Land, the game. So let's go ahead and dig in here. So go ahead and peel off the plastic. I've had a chance to play some of the Wii U games at Nintendo events and E3. Uh, but I'm very excited to actually see the release titles and give them a full playthrough. And of course, the release title that I am most excited about is this guy. Super Mario Bros. U. Uh, reviews are saying it's pretty much the same Mario Bros. game we've been playing for years, but that's all I want. I love the Mario games we've been playing for years. Um, so just like the original Wii box, you've got two little shelves in here with stuff. I think I've got the box upside down. Turn that one more time. And let's see what we got in shelf number one. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. So we've got Join the Club, some Wii U booklets, a ginormous charging brick, and another ginormous charging brick, um, or power brick rather. I'm guessing this one's for the console, this one's probably for the control pad. Push all that stuff off to the side. Also included, we've got a Wii sensor bar hiding on in there. And, nice to see included in the box, an HDMI cable. And I see a Nintendo console with HDMI. This does do 1080p graphics. So sweet for that. Push that off to the side. Let's get to all the good stuff. Tray 2 is where the action happens. And boom. Here we've got the Wii U console all decked out in white. The deluxe version is going to be black. So if you want a black console, that's going to be the only way to get it, at least right now. I'm sure we'll see special editions and colors uh, come out as the console's life goes on. So here it is, a uh, pretty heavy looking console, but uh, not gonna hold it very often, it's gonna sit in your component stand. Uh, since you don't have a stand, it's gotta sit like this. Let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, you've got two USB ports, you actually expand storage uh, if you want, and of course you can pop in a SD card and expand your storage that way. Your sync button, eject button, and power button. Nothing on the left hand side, and on the back, HDMI, so happy to see you. Two more USB ports, that's where your sensor bar is gonna plug in, power, and you've got all your fad stuff there. And I don't think there are any sort of hidden compartments on here uh, either. No spot for your GameCube controllers anymore, uh, just some vents. Push that off to the side for just a quick second. Super excited to get my Mario on. And here is what makes the Wii U super special. Uh, this is the control pad. The Wii control pad, Nintendo control pad, tablet, whatever you want to call it. It's going to get you about three hours of battery life. So this guy does some neat things. So it's got a resistive touchscreen here, obviously. Uh, you can actually play the game that you're playing on your console right on here. So someone else wants to watch TV, like let's say your wife doesn't want you playing any more Call of Duty, for example, uh, and she wants to watch cooking or dancing shows hypothetically, uh, you can play your game right on here and uh, take it with you. And supposedly, if you're within 25 feet of the console, you're not going to have any sort of slowdown. Uh, you can also use this to interact with the games. Uh, if you're playing a football game, for example, you can see plays that will show up on here. Um, other ways you can interact with it. Some, some games, you can fling stuff right to the television. I uh, like this. I know some Nintendo Land games let you do that. Um, and you can use it to sort of add things to games. I know in the Mario, for example, uh, a fifth player can add platforms. So let's go through this guy, which looks super unergonomic, but actually feels pretty good in the hands. Um, so here's what we've got. We've got two, how do you call these things? You've got two thumb pads, let's say. We've got a four-way navigation, typical Nintendo right there. Uh, NFC, that's where your reader uh, is going to be embedded. Uh, we've got A, B, X, and Y. Sort of odd that the A button's over there. Uh, we've got plus and minus power. TV controller can control televisions. We've got a home button. For your charging and signal ports going to live front facing camera you can do video chat on here as well on the top so we've got uh, a c port and that's 3.5 millimeter headset jack and volume button we've got buttons galore left right 
uh, ZR and ZL, and then we also have a stylus, because this is a resistive touchscreen. I would have liked to see capacitive on there, but Nintendo's had good luck with resistive, so why stick with it? And that's actually probably going to be for the dock. Uh, the charging port lives on top. So I corrected myself. Microphone uh, as well built in here, built in, and LED indicator. So of course we're going to play this guy, plug it in, charge everything up, and get our Wii U on. I'm very excited to try this. Uh, our own gaming editor, Joey Davidson, will have an unboxing of the Deluxe in case you want to see what that one's going to look like. But we here at the main Techno Buffalo offices like to keep things simple. Uh, so take a look for the Deluxe version. Uh, once that goes live, we'll put a link down below if you want to see that. Uh, but for now, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.